So this is the BBC Microbit. We've created this MyPower add-on board to make it even better. We've added a small coin cell power source so you can make your project portable. We've added a buzzer so you can add audio to your projects. We've also added a neat little on-off switch so you can turn it on and off. And all this in a board that is no bigger than the Microbit itself. They simply bolt together you end up with one neat little unit. So let's take a closer look. So the way the board connects to the BBC Microbit is by using nuts and bolts. The bolt goes through the front face of the BBC Microbit, through a spacer, and then is bolted to the uh, My Power board. This produces a neat little unit like this. So you can see the spacer space the boards apart, and the nuts and bolts connect the two. We've chosen to use the ground and three volt pins as this provides power from the My Power board through to the BBC Microbit. And we've also connected P0 here. P0 connects through to the buzzer on the board and P0 is a default output pin when you're using the audio functions within the block software environment. Another neat feature is the fact that the coin cell once inserted and the boards are bolted together can't come out because the spacer here stops it coming out, so it's kept safely in place. Lastly, we have kept the back face of this board completely flat. This allows for addition of bolt-on um, laser cut plates or handcrafted plates, so that you could, for instance, make a lanyard, or it could be hung, or you can maybe make a watch, or you know whatever you wanted to. And it just simply bolts through these two holes onto this flat surface here. For more accessories and project ideas for the BBC Microbit, please visit kittronic.co.uk.